Hello all, welcome to the VoIP Traffic Analysis course on Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we'll look at how to decrypt, uh, you know, SIP and SRTP along with using T-Shark, Text-to-PCAP and PCAP-to-Wave. So let's jump right in. Now in the last video, we had used SRTP decrypt to decrypt and get this hex dump, which we had fed into Wireshark and gone ahead and uh, figured out the final voice communication, right? So the big question is, can we take these hex dump files and do everything with command line tools? So the answer is yes. So the first tool we are going to use is text to pcap. This is actually a companion tool which comes with Wireshark. And this does exactly what we did when we imported the hex dump. So text to pcap, uh, basically, you know, we have to give it an input, which is, you know, hex is the format, which is probably the default one. And along with that, we need to mention what we want in the prepended dummy UDP header. So if you recall with Wireshark, we had said port 4000 and 4000. We can pretty much do the same thing here. So format of file input is in file followed by out file and options before that. So all we have to do is text to pcap and for UDP it's dash u source port and destination port. So dash u source port, let's say we're going to put it as 4000 and the destination 4000 as well. The same thing which we did for Wireshark in the previous video. In file, uh, I'm going to say voice client to server hex dump and out file, let's actually call it voice mail client to server dot pcap. So this is actually going to convert the hex dump into pcap. Fantastic. And now similarly, I'm actually going to go ahead and do for the server to client one. And I'm going to call this pcap as well. So now the dummy UDP header has been prepended. And what we'd find is we basically have the pcap files in here, right? Fantastic. So now let's actually run T shark and see what it tells us about each of these files. So client to server dot pcap, let's see what is inside. So we can see that T shark shows us that these are really UDP packets, just like we saw in Wireshark in the previous video going from a port 4000 to another port 4000, right? The IP addresses, all of this is dummy, we really don't care. So interestingly, now if we had applied the decode option, udp.port equals equals 4000, decode as RTP, and then let's actually look at the statistics for RTP streams. I'm going to do a dash Q. So there we go. Beautifully, this actually shows us that we are able to recover one stream, right? Fantastic. Now, similarly, you should be able to do that with the other PCAP file as well. There you go. So we have figured out that we have a server to client communication and that is one stream and then client to server, which is the other stream, right? Now the final step is to recover the audio from this PCAP file. So to do that, I'm actually going to use the modified and patched version of PCAP to wave uh, that we created a couple of videos back. So that should be in the SIP over TLS RTP workspace pcap to wave directory or wherever you may have created when you followed that video. So now let's actually run pcap to wave. 
and we are going to give it the option so voicemail client to server dot pcap and then we feed in those extra decoder options decode as UDP dot port equals equals 4000 RTP now keep in mind each of these pcaps only has one stream and that is what we will end up recovering now oops Oh, my bad. Uh, I forgot to give the out file. So the out file is going to be. Let's actually say, let's call this client. It makes it easier. Let's hit an enter. And there you go. It figures out that there is one stream and it is now recovering that stream. Fantastic. And let's actually now recover from the other file which is server to client.pcap I'm going to call this server now if you look at the directory you'll end up seeing a client wave and a server wave file right we can listen to these so open these up you can open these up in audacity or you can just double click it and listen to it so zip SRTP workspace, SRTP decrypt. So let's listen to the server one because we know that we're going to hear the uh, welcome message almost immediately. Oops. Two, two, is unavailable. Please leave your message after the two. Two, is unavailable. There you go. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. And if we hear the client one, well, we're going to hear the client's audio almost at the very end. So this is the part when the automated uh, voicemail message is playing. And now the client will speak. This is caller one. Welcome to Pentester Academy. There you go. Right? Fantastic. So this is really how we can use SRTP decrypt, text to PCAP, T shark, and then finally PCAP to wave to extract audio from uh, PCAP files, right? Which are using SIP and SRTP. Fantastic. So this is all I had in mind for this video. If you enjoyed this, please recommend us to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.